India's telecoms are Sunil Mittal says India's politics is hurting growth and the economy badly and that he's never seen such a cantankerous relationship between the opposition and the government. Speaking to Shweta Rajpal Kohli at NDTV's Business Leadership Awards, he says industry leaders have a right to exhort the political leadership and the need of the hour is a bold government and a responsible opposition. How badly is politics hurting India's growth story? Well, I think it's very evident that politics is hurting the economy, is hurting the country, is uh, restricting some of the good work that can be done. You wrote the open letter before the winter session of parliament that's obviously ended on a very, very bitter note. We've also seen a very key reform, FDI and multi-brand retail being stalled. Are you extremely disappointed? Yes, I think uh, most of my industry peers would be very disappointed here. Everybody would like to see a forward movement and especially when the government takes some bold decisions, we expect all stakeholders, including the opposition parties, to rise above politics and support some of the government moves. And we have had opposition parties uh, ever since independence, but I don't think so we have ever seen such cantankerous uh, relationship between opposition and the government. A very strong uh, statement from you there. Staying with the opposition parties and the specific open letter that you wrote, the response to that letter was, leave politics to politicians. How would you respond to that? Well, I think um, uh, you refer to Mr. Yashon Sinha's comment, and I would agree there. And I am not indulging in politics. But I think uh, as industry leaders, we have the right to many a times exhort the government of moving forward shed their inhibitions of doing uh, the right things. But equally, I think the industry leaders should write to other stakeholders, like the opposition parties. So I was not indulging in any politics, and therefore uh, would like to differ on this point. In fact, uh, you were a part of a recent meeting that the Prime Minister had called, uh, where the Prime Minister himself also said that he's a little disappointed with all those negative comments coming from the industry. Do you think the criticism of the political leadership in the recent past has been justified? Well, first of all, I must say that I was in that meeting and the Prime Minister was very mild in his uh, mention about that. In fact, uh, the subsequent day, the Finance Minister's speech at PhD was also mentioned. And we are again, if you uh, heard the Finance Minister, all he said was, let's not repeat negativism, let's try to create optimism. The fact is, industry will write to the government from time to time. Industry will voice its concerns. Chambers, industry leaders have a duty to tell the government both the good and bad things. So I would say the government does take that into account. It does not mean we are criticizing the government. It only means that we are trying to give them a point of view which they may not have on their side. Only one question I'm asking you. I find despondency in different sectors of the society, including amidst the leaders of the business and industry. What suggestion you can give to them to come out of this despondency? Well, very good question, sir. I think generally entrepreneurs in India are supercharged. Uh, you will not find the entrepreneurial class, the business community wanting. We want a bold government, and I believe this is a bold government. We want a responsible, or at least a reasonable opposition. And I can tell you, the third piece, the third pillar, is the entrepreneurs, the business community, which are supercharged, which will rise to the occasion. If you go back to you, 91, 92, you were an important minister in the government when it appeared that we were almost at the dead end. You took some bold moves. The opposition was reasonable, perhaps more responsible. And we all rose to the occasion. Give us that magic one more time. At least two pieces of the puzzle are here. So I would urge you to be bold. And I can promise you that this community will rise to the occasion. And I'll keep my fingers crossed that the opposition parties will be reasonable. NDTV's Cricket app. Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard. Special analysis. And much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.